Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are looking at the DeWalt DCE 530 battery powered heat gun. Now this comes as a bare tool, which is how I bought mine. In the bare tool you'll get the gun itself plus the two deflector nozzles that come with it. Or you can get it in a kit. The kit will include the gun, the deflectors, a battery charger, and a 5 amp hour battery. Now as bare tool today on Amazon it's about $171-172. And as a kit, it's not that much more at $187, which I'll leave some links for you guys in the description below. Well, let's take a look around the new DCE 530 and show you what it has to offer some of the features to it. First thing is, is it, it's going to in, incorporate that same ergonomic handle that DeWalt's pretty famous for. I, I really like DeWalt's uh, ergonomics on, on their on their battery powered tools. I think they're some of the best and most of my stuff is going to be DeWalt powered. The switch on here is going to be a, it has a safety feature so you have to lift up, you'll roll up and before depressing the trigger to turn the unit on which is kind of a nice feature. Also includes an LED light which is going to help you if you're just using the gun itself but if you have one of the deflectors on the light just is going to be shielded by those deflectors and you're not going to get a whole lot of use out of it. Also on the trigger switch, it has a lock mechanism on the right-hand side for right-handed people. So if you turn it on, you can then lock it in place. The vent on the back is, is uh, the vent is located on the back. So if you're using this in a stationary position, you'll definitely want to use it standing upright and not laying down on its back because you're going to restrict the airflow. One thing to keep in mind with this. Now it has both a high and a low setting. Uh, the switch for that is on the very top. In the high setting, it's going to put out 300, or excuse me, 6.7 CFM at about 990 degrees Fahrenheit at its at its top, its peak performance, or 532 degrees Celsius. In the low position, which is just a flick of the switch, it will be 3.85 CFM at 550 degrees Fahrenheit or about 288 degrees Celsius. Now it takes a little while for it to ramp up to reach those those operating temperatures and really I've tested it a little bit uh, with the heat gun or uh, you know with the laser gun trying to get a reading on what it'll actually put out. I haven't really got anywhere near those top numbers of 900. I've been in the 600 degree range pretty frequently on the high setting uh, with various different things but you know that's just peak performance and more often than not I, I don't need to get anywhere near that now the reason I bought mine was because I do a lot of repair on the trailer wiring and so having a mobile unit mobile heat gun like that is very convenient they're also used for any number of other things including uh, paint removal adhesive removal people use them in the window tent industry stuff of that nature well let's go take it to the workbench and we are going to test it out a little bit show you how it works doing uh, shrink tube on wiring and then we're gonna kind of see what it'll, what it'll do heating up a plate how long it takes to heat it up and we'll take some different temperature measurements at different intervals let's head for the workbench for this test I started out with 14 gauge wire I made the wire connection and crimped them together and then we used a little piece of shrink tube I had let the gun warm up about 20 30 seconds somewhere in that neighborhood on high and it didn't take but just a second to make that connection and it did a very nice job heating that shrink tube as well. Now for the next test I set up a piece of quarter inch plate and before we started I checked the ambient temperature and it was running in at about 65 degrees or about 18 degrees uh, centigrade. I then proceeded to check the, the uh, difference in heat at every one minute interval so I did that for five minutes at the at the first minute, after one minute, it had jumped about 6 degrees to 71 degrees, or about 22 degrees Celsius. And the next minute, at two minute mark, it was at 85 degrees. At the three minute mark, it jumped to 101 degrees. At the four minute mark, it had risen to 115 degrees. And finally, at five minutes, it was 134 degrees. So that's a difference of about 70 degrees on pretty cool quarter inch plate. And quarter inch plate takes a little while to heat up because of the thickness obviously of the steel. There's a lot there that uh, that has to absorb the heat. So that was actually pretty good. Within five minutes it had risen 
about 70 degrees. Now, I will say that my battery wasn't quite full, and during that run, it drained the battery about 40%, and this is on a four amp hour battery. I then checked it, I, I turned the gun around at, after I was done with that test to check and see just how hot it was getting right at the gun, and I was reading it in at about 572 degrees, so nowhere near the 990 that uh, they claim that it, it reaches, but nonetheless, more than sufficient to do anything that I need to do. Well, this has been a closer look at the DeWalt DCE 530. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.